want you to breathe me Let me be your ass Hello guys, hello again YouTube Or should I say bonjour guys um, I just got back from Paris like two days ago So technically my body is still there Mungo, Danielle, Kayla um, Janae from Hilo Lux and my little cousin Maria from Bella who is a blonde we all went to Paris for fashion week last week we literally spent uh, eight days there um, the girls left on Friday but myself I left on Saturday um, because I think it was too much time it was still too much time to spend in Paris so much fun we stayed at an Airbnb is the sun coming back Alexa Turn off light. Okay. Alexa, turn on light. Okay. So on the second day or first day that I got there, we decided to go to Chanel, of course, and we come ball, which is the original store. And um Manuel was looking for these shoes, the Chanel Pearl Mules, and honestly, before I went on the trip. I had no intention on buying anything at all. I told myself the only thing that I'm going to spend money on is literally food. I did not plan on buying anything. But you know what happens when you go to a Chanel store, you start trying things on and the next thing you know you're swapping your card. So we went to the Chanel and we come one which is the original one, it, it's number, is it 19? No, oh, 31. So it's the only place that gives you the white, white Chanel bags. Yeah, if you want a white Chanel bag when you go to Paris, make sure you go to the original store. So when I was in there looking for these shoes, and like I said, I had no intention on buying these shoes whatsoever. I just, she told me, try them on, whatever, and see how they look. I tried them on, and then I couldn't take them off my feet. I had to buy them. So here we are doing a whole unboxing for some shoes I had no intention on purchasing whatsoever. You know, going to buy, going to Chanel or buying a Chanel item at the Chanel store, it's like the best experience ever. See, with your like free champagne or coffee, depends on what time it is during the day. I think that's a store we visited the most when we were there because all of us were like getting something. So we kind of had to go back or literally every day we were at the Chanel store. <laughs> Again, I didn't really have these shoes in my wish list at all. The only shoe that I had on my wish list from Chanel's or the Chanel Slingbacks. For some reason, these shoes, they do not make my feet look good. I think it's because they have small feet when I try them on. They're already granny looking shoes. When I put them on, they look ridiculous because they have very small feet. That's why I haven't purchased them, but I am going to bite the bullet and just buy them either way. They're going to have to... I don't know, look good on my feet at some point. It's funny, I went to the Chanel store at Barney's and I tried them on. The guy was like, no, maybe in 50 years. <laughs> I was dying laughing. He's like, yeah, don't buy those. They're not for you too, Granny. But I love the sling bags so much. I think they look better on if you have a larger um, size feet. And I think they look perfect for when you wear jeans and a nice white blouse and a blazer and then you just wear them, it just class up your outfit instantly. So enough about the Chanel slingbacks that I'm not unboxing in this video, which I'm probably gonna end up getting um, next month anyway, because I may be going back to Paris with Manuel. Even if I don't go, I'm gonna give her the money to buy them for me. I'm just gonna buy them, I don't care. So guys, if you are going to buy designer items, I would say just save up your money, just buy a plane ticket cheap for like 400 bucks, to Paris go for a weekend and just buy all the designer stuff everything is so much cheaper there and then you get your tax back which is even better so make sure you go to the original Chanel store it's the 31 we combo if you want to buy something Chanel and they have it available at the original store make sure you buy it there because it's the only store that actually um, give you the white shopping bag and also deduct the taxes from your um, from your purchase right there and then without you having going to the airport to validate and do all that thing. So I I had to open the I had to open it because my boy and I we wanted to take a picture. Oh I didn't realize uh, the Camilla had oh no I broke it. So there's an extra Camellia flower that was on top of here but it actually got stuck in the bag 
So these are the shoes that I will be unboxing for you. So I have a, a talent of putting things back in your boxes because I never really undo this. I usually just like put it to the side just so I can put it right back. <laughs> and I love the Chanel ribbons because you can just put them in your hair, you know, around your flower vase. You can do a lot of things with them. Here's a box. Chanel, of course. There's nothing like opening a Chanel box for some reason. This look a little messy because I opened it quickly because Manoy and I wanted to take a picture. It's matching because we both got the same shoes. And when you open it, it was like wrapped and it says Chanel in there. And you have two dust bags for each shoes. Ooh, why are you so dusty? Let me get closer, guys, so you can. So this says Chanel and the whole paper thing has imprint Chanel in there and these are the shoes that I got they are the pearl mules the two-tone pearl mules and you have the toe which is black and then you have the camel leather you guys already know camel is my favorite uh, my favorite color in the entire world but what made these shoes so special is the pearl come on focus and as soon as I put them on, I just could not take them off. They just look so exquisite. How beautiful are these? And I know I will get a lot of wear out of these. Um, I can wear them with jeans and I don't wear a t-shirt. I was going to say t-shirt, but I don't wear t-shirts. If you wear t-shirts, then that's perfect for you. I can wear them with jeans or just the same thing that I'm wearing right now super simple it will just class it up instantly i can wear this with dresses to go out you can literally wear these shoes with everything and they also come with the extra sole protector uh because i usually run that i usually run through these very fast and it comes with the little package care not a little package it's just instructions on how to take care of them. If something happens to them, I'm just going to take them to the Chanel store. I did that with my TV shoes and they actually send them to Italy to get fixed and sent back to me. So, yeah, that's what happens when you buy designer stuff. Normally, I am a size 6. I decided to go for a size 36 and a half, so I went half a size bigger. I do find when it comes to mules or slides, I have to go size bigger because usually my feet is left hanging. Um, in the bag, but with this, this fits perfectly in the 36 and a half, and this detail is literally everything. 36 and a half. The price uh, was 710 euros, which is perfect because in the state they cost 995 dollars. That's before tax. So after tax, that's like a thousand dollars. Then there they were like oh, 710 euros plus I got. 13% of that bag. So I ended up paying $600 for them, which was so perfect. And for such a cheap price, and well, $600 is not cheap to spend on shoes, but they're Chanel. And also they are classic. Uh, I'm gonna have these literally forever. If I ever have a daughter, I can pass it on to her. Um, I don't think I could ever sell these so these are like mm, I, i'm not gonna say that because i'm not emotional to things at all i'm the type of person i get bored of things really quickly but these i know i won't ever get bored of them because they are classic um again they're black and camel you can't get any better than that i'm gonna put them on so you guys can see what they look like i'm gonna i'm going to also answer the picture um with me and Monroe. we both matching and wearing them Mmm, they smell so good. I just I love them so much. I'm thinking about putting um, some protective sole on them, but I don't know. To me, it feels like I ruin them if I put protective sole. I feel like I have to keep them just the way they are and just wear them. Yeah, the 36 and a half is, is so much better. So I would say go half a size bigger in these or even a whole size up. Um, when it comes to buying those mules um, again, like I said before Make sure you buy them at the original store if you can find them in your size 
there because it deducted tax for you but if you can find them at the original store you have to buy them at another channel store there's another one that i really like and we said don't know and just make sure when you are shopping for designer stuff in paris make sure you always carry your passport with you because at chanel you have to have the actual passport um in dior you don't need the actual passport all you need is the picture of it and um, they will take that but at chanel you are required to have the actual passport with you there for them to just give you the tax money right away if you don't have it you can always do it and then the next day you bring the passport so you can get the tax paper again you can choose for you to get the cash back at the airport or you can choose to have the money added to um back to your card it takes about a month and i don't want to wait a month to get my tax money back so i usually just get it straight at the airport but i think they are worth them even in the state i would spend the thousand dollars for them but i'm happy that i did it i literally save three to four hundred dollars yeah close to four hundred dollars by bearing the, uh, by buying these in paris um which is the price of a round trip there so you might as well just take a trip for a weekend and just go shopping oh when you open it this was like this this was protected with this little foam thing the heel again i can't wait to get my sling bags next month i am super excited to get those um i'm just gonna go and get them anyways because i don't care um if they don't really look that good on my feet because i have small feet but i'm gonna make it work because i love them so much um they were actually the shoes that i had on my wish list for like the last two to three years but i'm still happy that i get these because these are perfect for going out i love the sling bags but they're not that perfect for going out they're more for like if you're wearing something casual you put them on sure you can go out with them but i just think these are better for going out at night or even these um could be good for days especially if you drive around i live in new york city i literally walk everywhere and i walk in my heels everywhere um that's why i always make sure i buy comfortable shoes so but these i probably won't be taking the train with them um, i'll probably be taking ubers or via i barely take the train so that's not gonna be a problem i'm usually always in a via anyways i am super happy that i bought them again like i said if you want to buy designer stuff make sure you save your money just take a trip to paris for a weekend and just buy everything that you want because it's so much cheaper and also you just go for the experience even at shopping at zara literally everything is cheaper there except for sephora i wouldn't buy i wouldn't go shopping in sephora in paris because it's a lot more money but when it comes to designer stuff yes guys thank you again for watching do follow me on instagram comment below let me know if you like this shoe thank you so much for watching i will catch you guys in my next video au revoir <laughs> i feel like i need to keep my french i need to practice my french guys i really really need to practice i feel like i'm losing it not good all right so let me show you the shoes what they look like on my feet or should i just go like So cute.